Hi and welcome to the channel, my name is Magnus and today we're going to talk about AI. So a few weeks ago, one of my colleagues did ask me, can you please do a presentation regarding network security and the implementation of AI automation and all of that fancy new buzzwords that is in more or less all the tech newspapers. So I started to do some checking like, okay, what do they actually mean by AI? What do they actually referring to when they mean automation and all of that thing? And one of the concerns that you should think about when it comes to these kinds of services, it's same with the public cloud. So it has to do with the data. What sort of data do developers or users put into these services? Because if you put in like sensitive source code or whatever within these uh, services, such as ChatGTP, well, this is processed within the public cloud. What is what prevents them from using this sort of data and store it? I mean, these are vast companies and they're what what more or less they make money on is the data. And they use the data to train this sort of services. So what sort of control do you actually have? So a lot of companies, large companies, such as Apple, has started to restrict their employees from using this service due to this concern. And I also see that more people have the same concern and ask Checkpoint, how can we prevent this? And Checkpoint responded that they have created a new category. So they have created a new category that is for AI application because, I mean, ChatGTP is not the only one. So I will show you this video that Checkpoint Employee has created. I don't know how to pronounce your name, so I will, I will skip that. But more or less, uh, we will show this video. <laughs> so I haven't recorded this video myself. This is made from Checkpoint. And what more or less here it is, is that we have a rule saying, okay, you're allowed to go to AI services such as ChatGTP but you're not allowed to upload source code or credit card numbers. And if you do so, you will get a block message saying you have done something wrong. And this service and so on, it's a bunch of URLs that is dynamically updated. And if you want this to work for, I mean, if you upload specific traffic and so on, you need to do HTTPS inspections. And I would say the easiest way to do HTTP inspection is of course to use some kind of endpoint product. So you, you can use this with um, URL and application control together with HTTP inspection, but you can also use Harmony Connect. So in this case, I will just reverse here that you see that he can start the service of, um, of this uh, Bard. This is also like a AI bot. So he's able to send hi and he will get a response. But when he tried to send in credit cards information, this will more or less be blocked. So see, check internet connection and try again. And then the customer will be informed like this page has been blocked because of this reason. And it's the same with ChatGTP. So if you try to start the service by just saying hi, you will get the response. So you can ask like, what is one plus one? And you will get the a response that the answer is, is two. But if you try to paste credit card information such as here, you will get like an error has occurred and the data has not been sent. And this will also be shown in the logs, in the, in the smart log and you can see it in reports, etc. So if we check in the logs, we see here both the applications and that they have been blocked and they are using HTTPS so you see here that uh, Chrome was used and the reason why this was blocked was because this was credit card numbers. So I think this can be quite useful because you should, I will say, what, what are you saying? Trust but verify. <laughs> I think that's the army saying like trust but verify. So more or less you don't trust them because you want to still verify it. So. Even if you have a policy like preventing the use of AI services or 
don't upload credit card information into to whatever sort of of media you need to enforce it and this is a great way to enforce it so i just wanted to to show you this and i have not made a video so i will not take credit for it <laughs> but uh, i think it's quite handy and i will use this for when i do my presentation for the customer as well so thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next one take care